Hello everyone, I am Julia Carlson. I'm the CEO and founder here at Financial Freedom Wealth Management Group. And we are in April. April is um, Financial Literacy Month. And what does that mean? It's the nation's way of devoting the whole month of April to raise awareness around the importance of financial literacy and maintaining smart money management habits. So, uh, we're, are, we are dedicated to doing simple videos about different topics to help you uh, do well with money. And so today we are going to talk about how now is the best time to start investing, uh, no matter where you're at in life. Starting early uh, and investing consistently, so maybe the same amount every month or as much as you can, uh, over long periods of times, is going to give you the best chance to accumulate assets uh, for your financial future. Now, that being said, no matter where you are in life, it, you're, it's never too late to start. And so we like to say uh, the best time to start investing is now. Uh, it's never too early or too late to start. So uh, today in this video, what I thought I would share is uh, three investment strategies that you can consider when you um, either you're a seasoned investor or just starting out. So number one, it's really good to know what your investment time horizon is. So when you are investing, it could be you're investing for retirement and that could be 20, 30 years out or it could be 10 years out, could be one year out. So knowing how long until you need to use the money is really critical in how you set up your investments. Um, it could be to purchase a down payment on your home, which may be a shorter time horizon. Those investments should be more conservative the shorter the time horizon. The longer you have, the more you can be more growth oriented and allow more um, risk into your portfolio because with more risk, potentially comes more returns. Okay, number two, diversify your investments. So it's never good to put all your money in one thing. Uh, that is a recipe for disaster. We have seen it happen. So it's really critical that you have a diversified portfolio, a lot of different investments inside um, that vehicle that is uh, for your specific goals. Okay, so you may in a conservative investment, you may have a lot of investments in there, but they're all going to be more conservative, uh, where in more of a growth portfolio, again, a lot of investments, but more growth oriented. Uh, and lastly, rebalance your portfolio. So a lot of investors start out and they invest some money into their investment but never really go back and actually monitor it or make changes to it. So it's really crit critical to set up a, a rebalancing, um, whether it happens automatically or you're doing it um, at a, a single point in a year, but reevaluate and, um, and rebalance those investments to your risk level. Because what happens is if you, if you just let them ride, the investments that uh, are will perform differently in different types of, um, of macroeconomic environments. And so it, it's critical that you are um, rebalancing to sell investments when they're high, take those profits, reinvest in other areas that are low. By doing this, it's going to keep you in your risk uh, and you won't have any mi big surprises down the road that, that we've seen in the past. So. These are just a simple strategies to consider when you are either a seasoned investor or just getting started to help reduce your overall risk and uh, have a pleasant investment experience over time that you, d you don't wanna um, be so aggressive or be so risky that you um, never wanna do it again. <laughs> you don't wanna have a bad experience and these strategies can help you um, have a good experience with investments. So again, we are here for you. If you have any questions about investing or starting out, uh, you can head on over to our website. We'll put on the link below this video 
where you can schedule a complimentary consultation, work with one of our advisors, and get started because the time is right now. So happy April. And if you have any questions or want um, us to talk about a specific topic, you also put those in those comments. We'd love to hear that. Please share this. The more that you share this, the more that people will see uh, this and help raise that awareness around financial literacy. Have a great day.